when it was decided by the majority of the muslims that this war should be fought outside madina battle of uhud it was given the name of uhud due to a mountain the name of that mountain was uhud muslims were 1000 in the beginning and the and the numbers of quraish they were 3000 i have told you that the hypocrites the role of hypocrites when muslim army left madina to have a fight with the leaders of quraish in the foothill of but uh, in the uhud mountain abdullah bin ubay who was a hypocrite right he left the muslim army with his 300 men and he made this excuse that his opinion to fight this battle within city it was not accepted so he would not be the part of this battle so he left the muslim army with his 300 people so the number of the muslim army it became shorter now muslims they were just 700 so 700 versus 3000 again the numbers between these two armies if there was a huge difference of power 700 versus 3000 right being a, an expert military leader holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam appointed a team of archers on the mountain of uhud when any army is fighting in the battle the back side it plays a very important role holy prophet knew this fact before the beginning of the war holy prophet appointed 50 archers a team of archers they were consist of 50 sahaba and holy prophet gave them this order that it is your duty not to leave this place at any cost so 50 archers they were appointed on the mountain of uhud to protect the back side of the muslim army if you are fighting just imagine you are fighting and if anyone attacks on you from behind and one person who attacks you from the front side tell me which attack is most dangerous attack from behind because you have no idea you you cannot judge and gauge the power of your enemy because he is attacking you from behind so to protect the back side of the muslim army holy prophet appointed 50 archers okay so it was done before the beginning of the war and the war started in the first phase this battle it has uh, some few important events the first role of archers 50 archers they were appointed to protect the back side of the muslim army in the beginning of the war muslim attacked so powerfully that the army men of quraish and the leaders of quraish they could not tackle it they began to run from the battlefield in the first phase muslim pushed the army of quraish uh, pushed them back and they began to run from the battlefield they were leaving their things their females their children their weapons each and everything behind and they were running from the battlefield so keeping in view this situation the team of archers they mistakenly thought students be very uh, attentive keeping in view the condition in this battle the team of archers they thought that we had won the war because the kuffar the leaders of quraish they were running from the battlefield due to the massive and powerful attack by the muslims right so they left the place this situation was being observed by a group of uh, the army of the leaders of quraish during the war khalid bin walid at that time he was a non believer he was the part of the army of the quraish he he tried two times to attack from behind but due to team of archers he remained unsuccessful 
but when he saw that muslims they are they are busy in collecting the booty booty mean the belongings of uh, the non believers the spoils of war the team of archers some of them they left their places and they uh, went to collect the spoils of war this situation it was being observed by khalid bin wali who made a big round around the mountain of ohod and he attacked from behind in this attack 70 muslims they were martyred and holy prophet himself got injured and fake news when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam be got injured he came he came down from his horse and for some moment he was faint he was senseless so due to this event this fake news spread that holy prophet passed away holy prophet he has been martyred when this fake news spread in the muslim army they began to run from the battlefield this was the very dangerous moment holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam again showed him uh, prove himself as a brave leader he, he he was again on his horse and he called the muslims back and he said that i am muhammad son of abdullah i will give guarantee to those guarantee to go to paradise if they join me so when the sound and the voice of the holy prophet reached the muslim soldiers they began to came uh, come back and they joined hands with the holy prophet so again holy prophet gathered his army and they they pushed the attack of the the quraish but meanwhile a huge human loss was happened with the muslims so this was the end of the battle and meanwhile bilal uncle of holy prophet hazrat hamza he was also martyred by the hand of a slave whose name was washi she was uh, uh, washi he was hired by the wife of abu sufyan whose name was him him hired this slave to kill sayyidana hamza especially because in the battle of badr uh, the father of him who was the wife of abu sufyan he was killed by the hands of sayyidana hamza so washi he martyred sayyidana hamza and after the death of sayyidana hamza him could not stop herself and she went to the dead body of the uh, uh, she went to the dead body of sayyidana hamza she cut the dead body of sayyidana hamza she took the liver out from his body and then she chewed it so it was uh, so uh, it was the most tragic event of this battle that beloved uncle of the holy prophet he was also martyred sayyidana hamza so as a result of this due to the mistake and uh, uh, the mistakes by the team of archers because they left their places muslim get to face a huge human loss in the form of 70 muslims they were martyred holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he also got injured in this battle and beloved uncle of the holy prophet sayyidana hamza he was also martyred in this battle so uh, if we want to uh, if you want to ask sir what was the result of this battle the result of this battle was that muslims he had to face huge loss as 70 muslims they were martyred beloved uncle of the holy prophet was also martyred holy prophet himself got injured in this battle but the plan of leaders of quraish to destroy the muslim state it became unsuccessful so it was the third it was the second battle of islam with the name of battle of uhud hopefully you have got all the informations and all important details that happened uh, in this battle the battle of uhud that happened in the third year of migration thank you